Hey guys, it is Friday once again, which means it's time to get you all caught up on the gamey things that mattered this week. In news that really shouldn't surprise anybody who's ever played a video game before, Activision has confirmed that a new Call of Duty game is on its way this year. It's official! 2016's Call of Duty will launch this holiday and is in development at Infinity Ward, the creators of the super popular Modern Warfare series. We don't know anything about the new Call of Duty game except that Activision have described it as innovative. I don't particularly want to do the research, but I'd put money on the fact that every other COD game has been called that too, so we really don't know anything at all. This will be Infinity Ward's first COD game after 2013's Call of Duty Ghosts. Since the franchise is on a three year development cycle between Infinity, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer games. Earlier this week, Ubisoft revealed that an open beta for The Division is scheduled for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The beta will go live on February 18 for Xbox One and on February 19 for PC and PS4. It only lasts until the 21st, so you'll want to get in quick, but fortunately, you can preload it on your console or PC from the 16th. The open beta will include all the content from the closed beta, as well as an all new story mission that Ubisoft are yet to detail. If you need a little more incentive, Ubisoft have said that everyone who takes part in the beta will get a special in-game reward for the full game when it arrives on March 8. There's also a brand new trailer out now which features a number of the game's enemy factions. Microsoft have confirmed that Quantum Break will come to PC the same day it arrives on Xbox One. For a limited time, you can also get yourself a free copy of the PC version by pre-ordering the digital version of Quantum Break for Xbox One. The game won't support cross-platform play, but you will be able to retain saves across platforms. Remedy Entertainment also revealed an Xbox One bundle for the game, and that the Xbox One version will include a free copy of the developer's earlier game, Alan Wake, as well as its expansion and DLC add-ons. Activision also revealed that Destiny will be getting a new expansion this year, as well as a full sequel in 2017. We already had a pretty good inkling that this one was going to happen, but Activision has announced that this year's expansion will be both large and new. Yep, it's right up there with the word innovative. What that does suggest is that the upcoming expansion will be more akin to the size of the Taken King, as opposed to the smaller Dark Below or House of Wolves DLC releases. As for the sequel, Activision has merely referred to it as a full game sequel, with no further info at the time this script was written. And finally, whether you wanted it or not, Watch Dogs 2 is coming next year. During an earnings call this week, Ubisoft revealed that a sequel to Watch Dogs, as well as other high-profile games like For Honor, South Park The Fractured But Whole, and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, will be arriving over the next financial year, which ends in April 2017. The publisher also announced their plans to launch what they're calling a new high-potential AAA brand with strong digital live services. But your guess as to what that could be is as good as mine. Let me know down in that comment box what you cared about this week and which of all of these upcoming games you're most excited for. This week on site, I tell you about five awesome original games arriving this year. The Fallout 4 show covers off on the sexiest unromanceable characters in the game, and we review Unravel. That is everything I wanted to tell you about this week. As always, be sure to have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and I will see you again on Monday.